You know in your own team, the heavy hitters, the high performers, have got that drive, have got that focus. I'll tell you what I think they're doing. I believe they're hypnotizing themselves to be a success. I know that sounds strange, but I, I absolutely believe they are putting themselves in a hypnotic state. They're not listening to the rest of the people telling them it can't be done. They go to the beat of their own drummer. They internalize these pictures of themselves. They visualize their goals. They go to bed at night dreaming about it. They wake up in the morning, the first thing that pops in their mind is the goal they're trying to accomplish. Throughout the day, that's a center of attention in the back of their mind. They're hypnotizing themselves. Don't let the word scare you. Say the word, people get nervous and tense. See, I happen to believe the average person in this room is already spending about 70% of their waking day in a trance anyhow. I'm just going to show you how to put it to some good use. And I'm not kidding. You really do spend about 70% of your day in a trance. You don't think that's true? Honestly. How many of you folks have ever driven right past your exit on a freeway? Missed the sign entirely? Can I see by show of hands? Think you were fully conscious when you're doing that? How many times you're pulling your driveway at the end of the day, you shut off the ignition and seriously have to sit there and ask yourself, how did I get here? <laughs> Which road did I just take? Was that light red when I went through it? You ever have that experience? I fly all the time as part of my profession. I routinely miss the takeoff. I will often be reading a book and doing some paperwork, look out the window, when did we take off? Now, how do you miss a takeoff? How do you miss having your body hurtle down a runway at 200 miles an hour, thrown up in the air, and not be aware of that? Have you ever walked into your house at the end of the day and see a member of your family in a trance? One of your kids tranced out in front of a video game or your spouse watching a TV program and you call their name and talk to them and they do not even hear you talking to them? You don't think trance-like behavior exists? Next time you're in your office, look at your team. I guarantee you, those reps or those agents out there making phone calls, at any given moment, a third of them are going to be doing something like this. <laughs> they stare out into space. They don't see what they're looking at. They don't hear what's going around them. They've been hypnotized. It's a very common state of mind. Some people waste it. They go into that daydream-like state and they snap out of it. They couldn't tell you what they were thinking about. They drifted. They don't even know where the time went. Some people use it. I'll bet you your heavy hitters are all using it. You walk into their office, they're locked in thought, you break them out of it, and they say, ah, oh, I was just trying to put this deal together, trying to figure out how to get this client to see it my way. They hypnotize themselves. A lot of people say, I don't think I could be hypnotized. It's impossible. Want to bet? Three quarters of this country was hypnotized into believing that housing prices could never fall. You don't think you could be hypnotized? You get into a style of thinking and a focus of thinking and you tend to ignore what's going on around. You center your attention. That's not a bad thing if it's done properly. You're going to lead your team to growth. Number one, you need to know how much you're going to grow them. Number two, you're going to need to know how to grow them. You're going to have to have a vision. Now, I've talked about it. My time is short this morning. I'd like to spend the rest of the time I have with you showing it to you. Let me explain. You might be wondering what these chairs are doing up here. I believe people get in and out of hypnotic trances all the time. I believe successful people hypnotize themselves to be a success. I believe they control the images that go inside their head. They do not allow themselves to think negative thoughts. They continually visualize the targets they're trying to hit until those targets become a motivator and a driving force. 